Let's go. Let's go. 4 nil. We did it. We done did it. Arsenal getting the job done. Get Champions League back this week against Lentz on Tuesday. Big, 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 big week for us. Got the win against Brentford. Um, and then obviously today, about 10, 20 seconds ago, just turned off the game. And Arsenal gets it done against Bournemouth. Too easy. It's too easy. It's too easy. Brentford, obviously, we had a Reese Nelson um, goal um, for us. Um, we were playing down a couple players. All those players, though, well, for the most part, were back for this game. We had Bakayo Saka starting. He started us off with a goal. Declan Rice back in the lineup. Um, Saliba, after some rest in that rotation game there against Brentford, back in the lineup. Um, but, yeah, we we had, we had a good game here. We drew two pins, two pins, Udegaard and Kai Havertz. Kai Havertz now on the board. Stop with the memes. Stop with Kai Havertz. Can't get a goal. He has his goal. Hopefully that boosts his confidence up. Hopefully we can get some stuff going there with Kai Havertz. We know he can be good. We saw it a few times already. Um, sorry about that weird lag. Um, but we saw it a few times already um, with Kai Havertz. Um, obviously, he scored in the Champions League. He's done a lot of different things. Kai Havertz, um, very talented. We just really needed to just try to get him to go. Um, and unfortunately, he hasn't he hasn't really got kick-started just yet. Hopefully, this penalty will um, kick-start him a little bit, get him going, and get some Kai Havertz goals coming our way. Um, and after, after he gets the, those goals coming our way, I think we're going to be hard to stop. I think we're going to be hard to stop. I think um, he's somebody that... If, if you can unlock Kai Havertz, that brings a whole new level to the team. Um, obviously, we look at our team currently. Um, Gabriel Jesus has been great since returning from injury. I thought Eddie and Kethi has been fairly, very, very good this season so far. Obviously, he's getting um, goals here and there. Um, but Kai Osaka, obviously being one of the best players, not in just the team, but in the world. Um, and keep in mind, we won 4-0 without Martinelli. Martinelli is down right now, but Kai Havertz in that midfield Getting him to go, that's going to be good news for us. Declan Rice, I don't think anybody has said a bad thing about him since joining Arsenal. He's been phenomenal this season. Um, absolutely worth every penny that we spent on him. Um, Udegaard, um, he uh, he went out there, he got an assist, he got a goal. Um, doing exactly what we need our captain to do, go out there and lead by example. Absolutely beautiful football there from Udegaard. Um, Zinchenko went in, he played about 70 minutes. Um, he had a fairly solid game. Also, um, he had a couple chances actually to score up in the in the in the first half. Um, speaking about the first half, it was kind of hard to watch the first half because Peacock was not working, and I was looking and trying to figure out what was going on. But apparently, a lot of people were having struggles with with Peacock. Um, so, unfortunately, I just kind of saw bits and pieces. Um, but I believe Zinchenko took a couple shots at the goal. Actually, I can check. Um, yeah, he took two shots. So, I mean, he was getting up there. He was doing his thing. Gabriel, once again, good performance. Had a great performance against Brentford also. Um, William Saliba had a very solid game yet again. And then Ben White in that starting lineup. Ben White went out there and he got a goal. He actually got a goal off the set piece from Udegaard. Um, and he, he ended up getting us the fourth goal of the game. Um, and then obviously kept the clean sheet yet again with David Raya. Um, we've been keeping some clean sheets lately. It was, it was kind of a struggle there for a little bit. Um, but Brentford, clean sheet from Ramsdale, Arsenal, Bournemouth, we got a clean um, sheet from Raya, um, and then Raya has the clean sheet, I believe, against Everton, I believe he started Everton, um, yeah, Raya, that was his first game starting, and he kept the clean sheet against PSV, so three clean sheets for Raya, one for, for uh, Ramsdale, um, and then obviously Lens, we, we were going into them um, this weekend, or well, this week on Tuesday, and we'll see what ends up happening. Um, but Lentz, they they haven't been big scorers this season. Um, one one in the Champions League against Sevilla, um, um, back when they played Sevilla in the Champions League a few weeks ago. Um, two one against um, a, I believe are are yeah French opponent are they yeah they're um, one of their French opponents and then they had a one nil against one of their French um, opponents, um, but. 
they haven't really been putting big goals on the board. Um, I'm looking at Lens obviously as a game we should go into and we could keep a clean sheet. I think David Raya probably going to be the starter. Imagine that's why he started today against Bournemouth. I doubt that it's Ramsdale. Um, if they were going to start Ramsdale, I do think they would have had him start against Bournemouth. Um, but I thought we did very well. I thought we did very well. Um, bench players coming in. Tommy Yasu came in. He's been very solid off the bench for us so far this season. Reese Nelson once again came in and made an impact, an immediate impact. I like how he gets up the field. I like how he um, creates pressure on the defense and really draws him out. And it, it opens stuff up for us. Um, then Vieira got in there. Vieira, they, they were doing um, a new Vieira chant that I haven't heard before, so it was nice to see that. Vieira obviously becoming a fan favorite lately um, with how good he's been playing. Um, Emil Smith-Rowe had a couple good um, chances. Um, couldn't put the ball in the net, but had a couple good looks there for Emil Smith-Rowe. Um, and I don't really think you can blame him. I mean, he's still getting – I mean, if you look at Emil, he's played in – he played 21 minutes against PSV. Um, I don't think this is right. I think he played more than one minute against uh, Tottenham. He came in in the 90th. I don't know how much time he had, but Emil Smith Rowe played there at Tottenham, and then obviously he played against Brentford a good bit of time. Um, but with Emil Smith Rowe, he's still getting in rhythm, he's still getting there. I think it's going to all be fine with him. A um, couple good cracks at the goal. Um, couldn't put it in the net. And then Jorginho, once again, coming on um, to, to relieve Declan Rice a little bit. Great, great performance there. Um, and if you – I mean, Jorginho is one of our players that I feel fairly confident. And I know he had a mistake um, recently, but I, I, I feel fairly confident with Jorginho. Um, and he, he does, it's very untypical for him to come in and make mistakes usually, um, but you, you can feel real confident if you got to take Declan Rice off. I know Declan Rice was struggling with some injury problems there. If, if that becomes something you got to monitor a little bit more, the good news is Jorginho's there. Um, we didn't get to see, um, Ramsdale, obviously, Kivior, we didn't get to see Trossard was in the rotation, so he should be back from injury now, um, but... He did not get to play. Um, and then El Nini, it was also in the rotation, did not get play. But I think El Nini could be another interesting option because he had a very solid game against Brentford. Um, obviously, I think there's two people ahead of him in the pecking order when it comes to the, that holding midfielder role. Um, obviously, Declan Rice and Jorginho. Um, but I think El Nini's got a chance. Um, if maybe we, we decide that we got to rest... Um, if we, if we wanted to rest Declan Rice a little bit, El Nini could get in the game. Um, I don't know if it's going to be this week against Lentz. Um, I think we'll probably hold off for like big El Nini minutes to maybe West Ham um, on November 1st. Um, but El Nini's back on the roster also, so he's starting to get a little bit more healthy. Starting to get a little bit more healthy, less bumpy there. Um, but hopefully we figure it out. Obviously Saka and Declan Rice has some some lingering injuries that have been going on that hopefully are cleared up. Um, but we'll see what ends up happening. But we should we should go into Tuesday with a fairly healthy side. Um, I'm not sure. Can I can I see what the the status is on Martinelli? Martinelli, September 17th is his expected return, and we will not be playing Lentz on September 17th. He already, it's already past September 17th. How, how is that his expected return? Maybe that was the day that he got hurt. Um, Martinelli. Oh, that's when he got hurt. Expected return, doubtful. When, when, when does he come back? Is he going to be good for Lentz? I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully Martinelli comes back soon also, because that would be very helpful. Gonna need him for that Man City game. Don't necessarily need him for the Lens game, I don't think, but definitely want him for that Man City game next week. Um, so we'll see what happens. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.